Hi, this is Ron McTube. Today we're taking a look at the brand new fishing game, Fishing Planet. I'm just looking at the lakes here at the minute. I'm going to take your bass fishing first, because that's probably one of the first things you'll do when you play this game. The location I'm going to pick is Mudwater River, Missouri. Mainly bass in here, but there is small pike and catfish. Okay, we're at our location. We've got two pegs we can pick from on this lake. And then once you click one of those, you just stop. I'll have a quick look at my tackle bag. I've got rods, reels, line. I'm using the spoon, which is quite popular for the bass. And then we start fishing. I've started at 5 a.m. That's like the default time. But you can change that, and I'll show you how in a minute. You can also set the drag setting on your reel. That's the little circle down the bottom right. Set it as low as you want or as high as you want. So I'm using the spoon. I'm trying to keep it mid-water, just bouncing along that kind of level in the water. Because that seems to be very popular with the bass. It depends on what you're fishing with. If you're fishing with like a jig, uh, you bounce across the bottom, but a spoon, I think if you just keep it in the middle, it seems to work best. So as you can see, the animation for the reel is very nice. I'm using a small multiplier. The rod action is very good. The casting, it's really easy, quite simple to use, which makes it a joy because you're often using your rod and reel and you don't want it to be a chore. So nice and simple works and easy to understand what we're waiting for now is either the rod tip to go round to indicate a fish has took the lure or sometimes if you leave it a little bit slack you'll, you'll see the line at the top of the water it'll, it'll dart forward or dart to the side and you know fish has took it so you strike and then play the fish you want your drag set correctly I've got mine a notch down at the minute because there's not really that many big fish in here and I know if I get a big one I can still get it in with a bit of playing. So no fish yet but all is not lost. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a neat little feature in the game where you can fast forward time if it's a bit of a slow period to maybe a, a really good time in the day that might work for you. I've done it to 9 o'clock which seems to be a good time for bass. 9 to 11 seems to work really well. And then we're going to cast over here near these bulrushes and see how we get on. This area is really good. I often get a lot of fish here. So I'm just turning a couple of times, stopping a couple of times, keeping it mid-water. And just waiting for the rod tip to go round or the line to go tight or go left or right. When it's close in, you might think, oh, nothing's followed this time, but often the fish will take it just as you're literally taking it out of the water, so you've always got to be ready. So enough in that cast, so what we'll do is we'll take a look at the shop. This is where you get all your fishing gear. You've got numerous items, fishing rods, reels, lures, nets, hooks, lines, floats. You name it to do with fishing, it's in here. So you're wondering how you get the money. You get the money by catching the fish. You get values for each fish, not so much for a small fish, more for a bigger fish. So trophy fish net you more money and gold and experience. You can buy a keep net from the shop and that lets you keep the fish when you catch them. And then you sell the fish at the end of your fishing trip which nets you more money. As you catch more fish you gain experience and then you can go to other lakes. Here's some of the achievements uh, on my right. All your trophy fish get stored in the middle. And you can see here, I've got numerous different species. Uh, you've got your XP up the top left as well for my leveling. Right, so back to fishing. We're on the left still. Hopefully we can get a bass this time. We've had a few casts and nothing yet. You can get snags on your tackle. And sometimes a fish will try and take it and it'll miss. And it'll say, uh, <laughs> it'll say like, uh, strike timed out. So I know there's a fish about to do it. So if I just drop it or slow down a little bit, the fish will maybe take it. 
There we go. Fish on. Let's bring him in. It's not a very big one. 1.96 pan. So that's uh, our first fish. See, it took our yellow and red diamond spoon. So it's nice to finally get one. We're going to keep that one. Because if we keep them, we get more money. And then we're going to cast back out. Hopefully there's a nice little shoal of them. Often, once you get one and two, you get a nice run of four or five. So, hopefully we'll get some more now. Come on. Yep. Are we in? Sometimes you get a snag, and you're on the little meter. The first few bars will come up, so you're not sure if it's a snag. And then you should see it swim. <laughs> that one's a bit better. Just over two pan, we'll keep him. So I think we've got a nice little spot now where they all are. Get the spoon straight back out. Hopefully we can hit a bigger one. You can get catfish in here. Uh, some smaller fish. You can get uh, grass pickerels, which are like small pike. And bass. There we go, there's another one. He's leaping about. <laughs> That's a bit bigger again. £2.19. We'll keep him. So we've got a nice little rhythm there. Seems to be a nice little group of them. It's good fun. Nice and relaxing as well. Sometimes uh, on the spoon I've got, you can get them like five or six pan. There we go. This one's going out in the river a bit. It's not that big because my bar on the right, when it's really big, it'll go right up 1.91 pan. So they're all about the same sort of stamp of fish. I'm going to try on the right now. There's a rock on this right and often you do get nice bass around it, but you do get pike around that rock. You can tell when the pike takes because you get like a V straight away in the water. And they often uh, they just fight a little bit different, so you can tell when almost straight away after you've caught a few. Right, here we go. We've got some. And here we go, look, a little bow wave. I think we've got a pike. Let's have a look. Yep, trophy grass pickerel. So for trophy fish, you often get more points as well. So we'll keep that one. Very good. One thing I must say is, since I've been playing this in the closed beta, most people enjoy it and really, really get into it. On my left, I haven't got it shown at the minute, but you can press a single key and you can get chat up. So whoever's in the lake, you can chat live to them, instant messaging. So it's quite a good... Uh, you want to chat away as you're fishing you say hi how are you doing or whatever nice fish and you can see all the fish they catch as well uh, we've got another one here what's this is it going to be a pike no it's a small bass 1.93 pounds hoping we can get a nice uh, decent bass from here four or five pounder it's nice to see a great fishing game coming out because it's been wanted by a lot of people and there hasn't been that much of a choice in fishing games recently. Not good looking ones, they all normally look like something from the 1990s or something. So to get one with a modern engine and looking and playing really good and fun is very good indeed. Well I've just hooked something and this is definitely bigger because if you see on my right my bar is going all the way up. I've got a warning about my rod. It's damaging it, which you can get damage, and you can actually break your line or break your rod even. So we've got to watch that. He's already oh, went red there. So yeah, this is a good one. Hopefully we can get him in. Come on, he's close. You've got to watch it though, because you can snap your line. Seven, come on, come on. Get in. Yeah, we got him. It's a trophy bass. Five pound seventeen. So I hope you enjoyed my first look into bass fishing on Fishing Planet. I'm Ron McTube. Please subscribe to my YouTube channels and watch out for more Fishing Planet content.